Hey there, gorgeous. Welcome to a journey where we unlock the secrets of writing essays that truly resonate. Let's talk about writing essays that truly connect. Essays that not only convey your message, but also captivate your reader from the very first sentence. You know those essays that grab you from the first sentence and don't let go. The ones that make you want to keep reading, eager to discover more. We're diving deep into how to write those. We'll explore techniques and strategies that will transform your writing. Because whether you're a student, an entrepreneur, or just someone who wants to communicate more effectively, crafting engaging essays is a game changer. It's a skill that can open doors and create opportunities. Think of your introduction as your opening act. It's your chance to make a first impression, to set the tone and direction of your essay. It sets the stage for everything that follows. A well-crafted introduction can make your reader excited to dive into the rest of your essay. A strong introduction piques your reader's curiosity and makes them eager to see where you'll take them. It's like a promise of something valuable and interesting. Just like a captivating movie trailer, it should leave them wanting more. It should give them a taste of what's to come, enough to keep them hooked. There are a few different ways to hook your reader right from the start. Each method can be powerful if used correctly. You can open with a thought-provoking question, a surprising statistic, or a relatable anecdote. Each of these can draw your reader in and make them want to read more. The key is to choose an approach that aligns with your overall message and immediately grabs your reader's attention. It should be relevant and engaging. Now, I'm curious, what do you find most challenging about writing introductions? Is it finding the right hook or perhaps setting the right tone? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Your insights and experiences can help others too. Let's create a community of writers who support and inspire each other. So many of you mentioned struggling with crafting that killer opening line. And girl, I hear you. It can be tough to summarize your entire essay into those first few sentences. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be perfect right away. Sometimes, the best introductions come to you you've written the rest of your essay. Remember, a strong introduction clearly states your main argument or thesis statement. This gives your reader a roadmap for the rest of your essay. It's like telling them, buckle up because here's where we're headed. Another tip, keep it concise. No one wants to wade through a long, rambling introduction to get to the good stuff. Aim for no more than five or six sentences. Now, let's move on to the heart of your essay body paragraphs. Ready to dive in? Body paragraphs are where you flesh out your arguments and provide evidence to support your claims. These paragraphs are the heart of your essay, where your ideas come to life and your points are made clear. Each paragraph should focus on a single idea that directly relates to your thesis statement. This ensures that your essay remains focused and coherent, guiding the reader through your line of reasoning. Think of them as building blocks, each one contributing to the overall structure and strength of your essay. Just like a well-constructed building, your essay needs a solid foundation and well-placed support. Start each body paragraph with a clear and concise topic sentence. This sentence acts as a mini introduction, letting the reader know what the paragraph will be about. It sets the stage for the evidence and analysis that will follow. Just like your main thesis guides the entire essay, your topic sentence guides the reader through each paragraph. It provides a roadmap, ensuring that your reader knows exactly what to expect. Once you've stated your topic sentence, 
it's time to provide evidence and examples that support your claim. This is where your research, personal experiences and insights come into play. Use credible sources and relevant data to back up your points. The key is to be specific and provide enough detail to make your argument convincing. Avoid vague statements and generalizations. Instead, aim for precision and clarity. But hold on, before we move on to transitions, I'm curious. What's your biggest challenge when it comes to writing strong and informative body paragraphs? Spill the tea in the comments. Whether it's finding the right evidence, staying on topic, or crafting that perfect topic sentence, we want to hear from you. Your insights could help others facing the same struggles. Section 4. The Art of Transitions I'm seeing a lot of you in the comments saying you struggle with making your paragraphs flow smoothly. Transitions, my friends. They're the glue that holds your entire essay together. Without them, your ideas will feel choppy and disconnected. Transitions are words or phrases that connect your ideas and show how they relate to one another. They act as bridges, guiding your reader seamlessly from one thought to the next. Some common transition words include, however, therefore, in addition, and for example. When used effectively, transitions create a sense of coherence and flow in your writing. They help your reader follow your train of thought and understand the connections between your ideas. Think of it like weaving a tapestry, each thread connected to create a beautiful and cohesive whole. Now, let's talk about how to bring it all home with a powerful conclusion. Ready? Section 5. Bringing it all together. The conclusion. Your conclusion is your final opportunity to leave a lasting impression on your reader. It's the moment where everything you've discussed comes together in a cohesive and impactful way. It's a chance to summarize your main points, restate your thesis in a fresh and memorable way, and leave your reader with something to ponder. This is where you can reinforce the significance of your arguments and ensure that your message resonates. Think of your conclusion as the closing argument in a courtroom drama. Just as a lawyer aims to persuade the jury, you aim to convince your reader of your perspective. It's your last chance to persuade the jury, your reader, to see things your way. This is where you pull together all the threads of your argument and present them in a compelling manner. You've presented your evidence, made your case, and now it's time to drive your point home. Make sure your conclusion is strong and leaves no doubt in the reader's mind about the validity of your arguments. Avoid simply summarizing what you've already said. Repetition can weaken your conclusion and make it less impactful. Instead, aim to offer a new perspective on your topic or leave your reader with a thought-provoking question. This can add depth to your conclusion and encourage further reflection. The goal is to create a sense of closure while also sparking further reflection. A well-crafted conclusion can leave a lasting impression and make your essay memorable. So, we've covered a lot of ground today. From the importance of captivating introductions to the structure of strong body paragraphs and the art of writing memorable conclusions. You now have the tools to write engaging essays that truly connect with your audience. Remember, each part of your essay plays a crucial role in conveying your message effectively. But before we wrap up, I have one final question for you. How will you use these techniques to make your next essay unforgettable? Think about it and happy writing. Section six, your turn to engage. Which part of the essay writing process do you enjoy the most? Is it brainstorming ideas, crafting witty introductions, or maybe the satisfaction of tying it all together in the conclusion? 
head down to the comments and share your thoughts. And hey, while you're at it, why not take our quick two minute survey about your biggest essay writing challenges? Your feedback helps us create even more helpful content for you. Remember, writing is a journey. And like any skill, it takes practice and refinement. But by focusing on engagement and clarity, you can craft essays that not only inform, but also inspire. Now go out there and write something 